Let's go through the most common and some of the more exceptional dashboard lights out there. 49. Adaptive Light System Indicator By adaptive, automakers refer to lighting systems that can adjust the beam to specific driving scenarios. The Citroen DS Series 3 introduced directional headlights to mass-market automobiles back in 1967. The Tucker 48 was the first application of this technology in the automotive realm. Only 51 were ever made. 50. Rear fog lights. A legal requirement on all vehicles, rear fog lights should be used when visibility is seriously reduced. The rear fog lights make your vehicle more visible to the vehicles behind you, thus reducing the risk of a crash. 51. Rain and light sensor warning. This symbol means that your car is experiencing an issue with the sensor task with turning the headlights and windshield wipers on and off automatically. In case of said warning light, you can still turn the headlights and wipers on or off manually. 52. Air suspension warning. Usually reserved for high-end vehicles, for example, certain Mercedes-Benz vehicles and Ram pickup trucks, airbag suspension reduces sway and body roll in all scenarios. In case of a warning light, have a service technician specialized in your vehicle's make check the diagnostic trouble codes and the airbag suspension. This kind of suspension comes in pairs, either one for the rear axle or two for both. 53. Windshield defrost. If the window's shape is curved, that's the indicator for the windshield defroster defogger. 54. Rear window defrost. If the shape is rectangular, that stands for the rear window defroster defogger. 55. Windshield washer fluid reminder. The windshield washer fluid level is getting extremely low. Before topping up, make sure you don't confuse the washer fluid reservoir with the brake fluid reservoir. A faulty washer fluid level sensor may keep the light on. 56. Key fob not detected. Vehicles equipped with keyless ignition won't start without the correct key fob. Even if the key fob's battery goes completely flat, you can start the vehicle by placing the key fob close to the area designated in the owner's manual, usually close to or right on the engine start, stop button. You can open the driver's door by using the key fob's physical key.